action-packed days on for you and an alert day for folks in the mountains and the foothills. And this is because we are expecting to see this changing weather scenario with a good chance of precipitation, no matter whether you're seeing the rain first or then the snow mixing in. Monday morning commute, western mountain slopes, slippery roads, also on the eastern slopes, e slippery spots develop, and even some really high snowfall totals, up to six inches in spots. We're looking at the foothills, wet roads, and watching those elevated spots too, where things can start to accumulate on the grassy surfaces, areas that have a chance to cool more quickly, those elevated surfaces, your steps and decks. But of course, the roads are going to be too warm going into this to really ice up at least immediately. Foothills will see mostly wet roads, but the tribe could see wet roads mixing with some of that slushy stuff that we see falling to. And it looks like a big wet snow developing first. All right, here you go. We've got that marginal risk area still for folks in the southern Piedmont overnight. We have not seen a lot of thunderstorms develop yet. And that's the key here is that things will change rapidly aloft and at the surface and temperatures will too. So we're right now sitting in the 60s. We've got you at 62 in Reedsville, also Greensboro, Burlington at 64. We've seen decent rainfall totals here and there, but the heaviest of the rains look to move in as we get you closer to midnight. Notice the mountains are still sitting in the 40s at this point, and the timing of all of this really develops as we get you through early morning. So the snow begins falling overnight. Now that warning goes into place at 10 o'clock tonight for folks in the mountains because temperatures may start to cool quickly aloft and as you have the elevation going for you in the mountains, those temperatures could start to plummet a little bit sooner along with that layer of air aloft really starting to drag some of that snow down. It's going to take a while to get snow on the ground there though. They're warm too going into this event. So that's one of the forecast challenges. What might help us overcome that will be the intense precipitation rates that we're anticipating. You're noticing that the southern Piedmont here could also see the heaviest of the rains. This is where streams and creeks could come up above their banks. One to three inches of rainfall then mixing in with snow at times and that could develop as we get you through 3 a.m. to about 11 a.m. for the foothills and from 9 a.m. up until about noontime for the tribe. We may even still see some of those snow showers trying to linger and come down pretty at a pretty good clip with some high intensity snowfall here but not sticking, of course, as we have been warm and temperatures will be marginally cold, cold enough though to support snow, just not icy conditions on the road. So mostly wet roads as we travel into the tribe. The concern I have though, is if we get any wintry precipitation, such as sleet that could mix in, or if you've got it coming down so quickly, it's certainly gonna reduce visibility. So we also have gusts out there. So rain changes to snow at some point late tonight for folks in the mountains first, heavy wet snow. So this is gonna be the kind of thing that could take down some tree limbs unfortunately cause some power outages. We might see a tiny bit of sleet mix in, but most of this is going to be a snow profile for us and a change from rain. Four to six inches in the mountains. Foothills could see up to two inches, but unlikely that you're going to see it all sticking on the ground. Now it could get into the neighborhoods where we've got some of those corners and side roads that are going to be shaded and slushy patches could develop there and become icy, especially late tomorrow night after the system shuts down. Whatever's left on the road is going to be slick. So dangerous travel for folks in the mountains with gusts Dusty winds and blowing snow, slippery conditions developing there much more quickly. They're going to be dipping into the 20s by early morning, so road conditions do tend to worsen more quickly as we start to see those temps drag down and stay put in the 20s for much of the day. A mix of snowy travel for folks in the foothills. We're looking at rain and then that mix to snow. It could reduce visibilities for you too, and those road conditions could worsen a little bit more rapidly depending on the precipitation rates. And for the triad, while you're expecting mostly a wet event, with the flood watch up for areas from the tribe through Troy all the way through Chapel Hill and Raleigh. We've got one to three inches of rain that could then mix in with that ending of snow, reducing visibilities, creating some slushy patches and exit and on ramps will be more susceptible. Anything that's a little bit elevated. So those are the concerns. Here's the rainfall and snow timing. We've got heavy rain to snow overnight in the mountains till 10 a.m. We've got impact hours on and from nine until about noon. Best chance to see snow, but the mountains could be slick for longer. You're only in the low 30s throughout the day and in the foothills from the low 30s to the upper 30s at best. Similar conditions expected in the triad and those gusty winds keeping us cold. So your morning commute a bit slick, not only tomorrow morning, but then again Tuesday morning. So getting where you need to go and give yourself extra time getting there tomorrow by about half an hour.